Hello, welcome back to my channel Edis English Literature. Today we are going to discuss about James Sinch's Ride Us to the Sea. Ride Us to the Sea is a modern play. It's a one act tragedy. It is written by James Sinch, Irish writer. In fact, um, the story which we uh, read in this particular tragic drama um, is quite interesting one uh, it represents a lifestyle or uh, the life uh, agonies or rather the struggle of islanders uh, who are living with flight and uh, that story has been enacted in a such an arresting way that um, tragic intensity is such high in this drama that we dive deep into the lives of Aaron Islanders and their story of agony touches every aspects of our life and it becomes an universal drama that tells something um, about the feelings of a mother and how agonized the the life of the people of Aran Islanders who struggles hard to survive in the hostile atmosphere of Aran Sea. So, let's focus on our discussion Ride Us to the Sea by James Singe and I will just focus a particular few points that will arrest your mind that how the tragedy Aren't to the aren't lives or the aren't islanders lifestyle or the life has become so uh, arresting one in this particular drama. Singe was struggling hard as a um, as a new writer, and he has been constantly in battle. What to write uh, and how to represent? He's a talented writer, and he has uh, hitherto tried. Uh, English literature in different aspects of his own way but uh, it somehow um, didn't uh, even though they were of uh, world class they had not the uh, real mirth or the real uh, touch of humanity uh, which is quite universal one and which has become uh, universal even being local so it was <coughs> W.B. Yeats who has suggested him to introspect and look into his own people. That's why James Sinch started writing into the lives of Aran Life. Aran Lives, uh, Aran Islands are the nearby coastal islands that are uh, within the Gambit of Ireland. So um, it touches um, uh, or it tells uh, something about uh, the Aran people. Um, who are living with uh, the hostility of the sea. As the story begins, we find a bereaved mother. I am just going to tell you the story in a nutshell. As the story begins, we find out that uh, an, an bereaved mother, a bereaved mother called Moria, uh, she is constantly weeping for a few days as all his previous sons are dead and one son is missing. It reaches the point that tragedy and the pain of a mother, the loss of, his, of her child that uh, invest so much pain in a mother. So universal mother figure in the way of his protagonist, Mrs. Moria, the bereaved mother who has lost he, all of his sons in the tragic, uh, in the tragic incidents and the son uh, all of the son were, uh, were uh, trying to struggle with the uh, and struggling to cope with the hostile sea of Aran uh, of the Aran Sea. They have to cross over the uh, Aran Sea only to survive. They have to go to the mainland to say to sell their ponies to sell their sheep. So the lives of the Aran people are 
represented in this particular drama the local of the Aran Islanders life has been projected has been represented to the universal concept of struggle to survive and that concept has been delivered to the people that's why the universality of this particular drama uh, reaches to us and it is uh, in the most of the university syllabus uh, it covered so now again if we say as a tragedy a pure uh, pure genre of tragedy uh, this particular drama tried to accumulate all the principles together the errant sea is itself a fate the nemesis the hostile sea is the other name of nemesis destiny so all of these people they are undone in front of the nature the hostile sea they have there is tug of war between the hostility of the nature as well as the in intensity of living but ultimately nature wins and and all of the son are dead but broadly speaking the mother at the very end of the drama it says uh, the drama the word that he says is very appealing that i have to survive because till i have two daughter kathleen and nora so the universal struggle of a mother is 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 expressed through the, uh, through this drama the mother who is dropping tears for her lost sons as well as at, at the final stage she is willing to struggle out the battle the rest of her life only for his living two daughters kathleen and nora now again in another plank uh, the drama uh, itself um, uses few uh, ominous signs few ominous uh, uh, numbers uh, references of symbols all all things are used within the short frame uh, framework of one act play and even very interestingly one thing has been done through kathleen and nora represented a quick feature any tragic drama uh, in this sort of tragic drama kathleen and nora provide a plenty of information regarding the happenings of nature what happens off stage so they are reporting but even though they are quick they are not quick proper because individuality of the kathleen and nora is also represented all the time they are not speaking in the same language the difference and finally i like to say that uh, even though the language is very simple even though it, it it linguistically it is very simplified a drama it it touches the very very local language linguistic aspects of the aran aran life and aran aran languages so linguistically it also uh, teaches or reaches to the public to the audience um, uh, universal audience through a local color so all these things make this drama fantastic and popular and it is reaching each and each and every sect of the readers uh, students as well as enthusiastic enthusiastic readers they are reading it and i think that you should also start reading riders to the sea and try to grasp the very um, uh, tragic play uh, into such a way where can you can also see a um, plenty of morias living in front of you uh, the riders are non uh, individual but we as a living person somewhere somehow in some way are riders into the aspects of bhasi of life thank you i think this short explanation should appeal you and you should start reading further and if there is any queries regarding riders to the sea you can post me and i will answer you uh, in this post in this uh, vlog and uh, you can also refer to my uh, blog www.dhendude.blogspot.com here you can search uh, question answers from uh, riders to the sea and other explanations thank you and goodbye